Hello, let's talk about Charm Ugly slots and Lacrimas. This guide is more focused towards new players, so let's get into it. Charm Ugly slots. As soon as you finish Act 13, Charm Ugly slots become available. However, in order to unlock them, a resource called Star Fuse Upgrade is needed. But about those later, because they are connected to Lacrima. For now, let's focus on what upgrades to pick up and how to level them up. So I would suggest to start with all option yellow, but it's level 10 for me, so I'm gonna show you blessing effect one. So when you press the arrows, you're gonna see that it requires charms. So my advice would be, you can press on the requirement and the charms that fulfill that requirement gonna glow up in your inventory. As you can see, there's that blue light. So basically it shows that it fulfills this requirement. This one is easy. So let's look at for the prefix one, right? So this one requires TA charms, yellow ones, and TA7 or, or above attack prefix. It requires nine of those, but you can only use five charms. So that means you will have to find double prefix uh, attacks on the charms, which is gonna be hard because it only shows one prefix and not necessarily showing two prefixes. So we'll, you will need to use a search bar. You can I know that prefix is critical, I know that prefix is hit, and I know prefix is maximized. So if you write those down, it's gonna show only the charms that fit this description. However, it's not necessarily gonna show you only those, as critical can be critical damage too, so you'll, it's gonna be basically a lot of manual searching. But whenever you fulfill the requirement, you press level up and you're gonna get your level. About whenever you level up to level 10 your upgrade slot, it's gonna get a new effect, and when you have a total of 100 levels, it's gonna get extra effect. To reach total level 100, you will need to level up a lot of upgrades that not necessarily you're gonna use. You only want to hit the level breakpoint. So for, for simple ones, basically for yellow charms, it requires only 100, but for the legendary ones, it requires 150, so that's one gonna be later. So... Let's look at the one with conditional one. So for example, this one only works on legendary and only on tier 9 or above prefixes. I have this one on my top uh, bottom bottom right charm, right? And this is a good example. As you can see, the affixes are tier 9 and they are blue, that means they are upgraded. But the tier 8 is not upgraded. So just keep that in mind. That legendary options legendary upgrade slots are kind of hard to fulfill. This one is kind of interesting one because this one reduces the prefix and suffix options but increases a legendary prefix. So as you can see my default legendary prefix is 5.3% but with this one it's 11.2. So this is a really good because strike damage amplification is gonna be more than what this charm is offering me on the non-legendary pre prefixes and suffixes. So that would be one thing. Whenever you reach level 10, you can apply it to all slots. When you apply it to all slots, it's gonna affect every single slot, but it's only affecting yellow charms. It doesn't affect uh, legendary charms for me. So this one is really good to apply to all slots early. Same goes for the Chaos Star. And I only suggest to focus on Blessing Effect on this one, because this one, you're always gonna use it and you're not gonna change it. And this is somehow meta. But this is simple, again, you have a level effect, max level effect, which is level 10, and total level effect, which is 30. So, same idea, you level up that to max level, and then you can start leveling up those other ones that you're not gonna use in order to hit a level 30 breakpoint. So, about Charm Ugly Slots, that would be it. Lacrima statue become available as soon as you drop any Lacrima. There are four types of those. Blue, yellow, unique, and legendary. Every single Akima will have authority attached to it. So, for example, this one is level. So, in order to activate it, I need level blessing of 90%. The better the Lacrima, the more blessing you will need. You can roll any item on your Lacrima. For example, this one has a two-handed weapon that applied to 69% efficiency. The level of the Lacrima influences what item levels I can use on the Lacrima. So it's 141, that means I can use weapons up to 141 level. So as you can see, it's uh, 221 before the Lacrima. After it's put into the Lacrima, it's only 152. 
Another thing to note is that not every single affix is applied. For example, you can see this, that attack damage, attack damage multiplier and speed is not applied to the Lacrima because they affect the base on an item, but mana on kill and dot rate is applied. So how does the event look like? Basically, you don't have to use only blue charms, you can use yellow ones. It's up to you which, which you can use and which you cannot. So whenever you press activate, the portal is gonna open up. You enter that portal, and the time of rotation is gonna start in a few seconds. It's, it's simple, you get, you, in this area you get buffs, so it's gonna be easier to clear than it looks like. As you can see, it starts dropping Link of Unity. It should start dropping Star Fuse Upgrade Stones, as you can see. This is simple, you just kill NPCs, they drop items. There is 25 uh, waves, but you need to be careful, you need to calculate, you need to like assess if you're gonna have enough DPS to progress in stages, as stages are limited by time. Especially be careful when you are melee, because for the first stage to clear you only have 5 seconds, so you need to move fast or you're gonna lose the event. So this is it, I killed the boss, it drops Lacrimas, it was really fast, it was low level map for me, it, it, nothing hard, yeah. And you can identify those, this one is Beacon of Support, 150. Unique one. Levo, two-handed weapon. This is not bad. I'm gonna keep that one. Mirror set two-handed weapon necklace. It's kind of low. I wouldn't keep the low ones because it highly affects how much you benefit out of those. So whenever you finish the, finish the time of conversation, you leave the map and you still do the event. You have five minutes for the event and you still can drop that third eye. So let's go. Let's open some portals. Those portals on the map gonna open up automatically. <clears throat> yeah, they opening up. I kill them. Again, Link of Unity and Star Fuse upgrades. Basically, you should be able to finish any map in 5 minutes. Even if you are not managing to finish it, you still get plenty of benefit. The only thing that's left unchecked is Chaos Tom slot upgrade. So for this one you will need a Star Fuser high upgrades. This one's right. So how to get them. So the, the one and the easiest way and the most bulletproof one is to craft a Ilya room maps. So you can craft those with Chaos Keys. So that means you will have to do some T11s in order to drop those keys. I do Ilya room most of the time blue, because there is not that much reason to do them yellow, because even blue maps sometimes drop to 1 to 3 star, star fuser high upgrades. And for the upgrade you only need one, and you need another one to apply that chaos star upgrade on the slot. So basically you only need two. Another way to get those is kinda not bulletproof one, but still possible. And the easiest one would be to do a T tier 10 unique maps. Let me see if I have any. Yeah. So this would be Golden King's Treasure. But the drop rate is really low. However, you can do them really, really early. As Il to craft Ilya rooms might take you some time depending on how fast you progress. So this would be the second one. The third one is basically doing constellations at a high level and trying to kill a champion. Champion basically is a new event that only spawns on high levels. And champions are kind of really strong. I would say this method would be the hardest one, as you're probably gonna craft those Ilya rooms before you start killing uh, champions. You can do champions on Constellation, and you can do champions on high level maps in uh, on the Chaos Statue, they only start spawning at like growth level of uh, plus 16. So I, I wouldn't recommend this one, same with constellations. You need to do a high level constellations too. That would be it for me, but my last piece of advice would be to use any Lacrima you get early. It doesn't have to be a weapon one. Even a ring one or a necklace one is gonna add you a little bit of damage. But moreover, it's gonna add you some 
some type of survivability if you roll like resistances or HPs. So yeah, if you have any more questions, you can ask me on Twitch. Uh, I'm streaming every day or ask them in YouTube comments. Have a nice grind. Jeez.